Okie dokie, welcome back. Uh, I'm Paul John. Uh, in this video, we're going to do a little exercise about overgloss uh, with the clear coat. Pros and cons, when to do it, why, why, why not, you know, what's it good for. Uh, so behind me here, I've got a couple of uh, paintings that I've uh, worked on uh, when I was first testing out some of the new stencils that I've built. Um, it's a really nice little piece. You can see a different combination of the, the skulls and roses. Uh, these little army men, uh, which are like the classic, you know, plastic toy army men, which are really nice. And uh, you can see some of the different two-tone effect that I've used uh, on these uh, roses, along with some playing cards and bits and pieces, right? Uh, so it's a nice piece. I really enjoyed it. Um, it, it was fun to put together. But um, the base purple here is just a cheap, you know, fucking dollar shop poster paint purple, right? And it's... It's a nice colour, but the paint itself is garbage. You know, every time you start to paint it on it, it comes off and it rubs off and you get a little bit wet, it's good. So um, I am thinking I'm going to have to put a clear coat on it just to pull it all together and make sure it, it, it stays good. So one of the reasons why I might not do it is because uh, I love the difference between the gloss and the matte paints, right? Um, which is one of the things I love about the gold and the silver spray paint, right? Because you get this nice gloss effect on a, on a, uh, on a matte surface and it stands out and as you move with the light, you know, different parts of it catch the light and, you know, it's a really nice effect, right? Um, but as I say, in this instance, the backing paint is not so great and it's a little bit flat and, uh, I think I'm going to put a clear coat on it just to protect it and to stop it from uh, smudging and I think it'll just actually bring the whole thing, you know, it'll give it a little bit more juice. So I just used one of these, uh, you know, uh, spray cans of clear coat. Um, this is pretty good. I've used it on a, a couple of pieces before. So we're going to do a little bit of a before and after. So uh, we'll have a chance. I'll, I'll, I'll spray one of these and then we'll let that dry. And then, uh, you know, we'll, we'll have a little look and see the difference between the uh, uncoated and the coated. And, uh, you know, maybe how we lose that difference between the matte and gloss effect. But, uh, you know, we'll see how it highlights and brings these other pieces out. And I think it'll be a nice little uh, learning exercise as to, you know, we'll see at the end of it the pros and cons. So uh, what I'll do is I'll take one of these down and uh, we'll get ready. I'll uh, give it a, a good coat of the clear and then we'll uh, we'll see, check out the results. So I'm going to give this one more coat. I want it to, uh, to be really super glossy so we can really see the difference between the two pieces. So I think that first coat's dried now. I'm going to be careful. Um, you know, you don't go too hard because it will run and that cause drips. Now, often I don't really give too much of a shit about that because, you know, I'm never really too worried about the odd little mistake in there. You know, half the time it ends up being the most interesting piece part of the, the piece. But, you know, in regards to this clear cloth, you know, you want to try and do it all right, so don't get too close. You know, better off to do a couple of uh, thin coats than it is to try and go too hard and get a, a, a full gloss coat on it. So uh, let's uh, let's crack in and uh, give it another quick once over.
Okay, so we're finished. Uh, this piece here on the left has uh, had the overglossed uh, couple of coats done, and we can see the uh, the other piece here is uh, hasn't got it. So, uh, what's the verdict? Was it worth it or not? Well, you can see straight away. I mean, the colour is really popping, having put that gloss on it uh, compared to this piece. Um, now the the overgloss certainly highlights the colours and makes these a little bit richer but it definitely does bring up and highlight some of the I guess errors you know uh, like little bits of overspray definitely are showing up a lot more I'm more aware of that and maybe any other little marks or scuffs on the canvas definitely show up a little bit more so you know there is that to keep in mind but um, overall I think it's definitely uh, a vast improvement so um, you know, the colours are good, and like I said, you know, half the reason why I wanted to do it in the first place was this cheap paint is not very durable, and now it's got a nice, you know, um, you know, solid finish on it that's a little bit more durable, and it, it definitely has, it, it's worth it. So, look, I think you've got to pick your battles on this one um, as to whether it's worth it, but I think, uh, you know, there's definitely a lot of benefit in putting that, uh, that clear coat finish over the top. What I'll do is I'll bring in close so you can see the difference. One thing I was a little bit concerned about was uh, the a the difference in the matte to gloss, right? Um, because it's a nice effect. And so, look, we've maybe lost a little bit of that, but um, with the gold and silver um, that reflectiveness, you still get a certain element of that um, effect when you're kind of looking. So, you know, that was the only thing I was worried about losing and I haven't lost that in fact if anything you know those um, metallic uh, elements are, are even glossier and shinier so uh, overall I think it's a win uh, if you are looking to really add a little bit of extra juice and, and bump up the colour and vibrancy of your pieces then yeah the clear coat gloss is the way to go.